You can let AquaWiz start dosing the alkalinity solution after a week from initial setup and making sure you are getting accurate KH readings. For this setup, you need the following. 1. 20 to 50 milliliter measuring cylinder. 2. Dosing tubing. We use red C ones. 3. KH dosing solution. Soda ash is being used for this demo. For dosing alkalinity, you can use part A of any two-part dosing solution. All for reef, soda ash, or sodium bicarbonate. Kalkwasser is not recommended as the machine cannot dose more than 60 mL of dosing solution per hour. Most systems will need way more Kalkwasser per hour. We are using a 50 milliliter dosing cylinder for the setup. Now let's attach the dosing lines to the KHA. Dosing line from the KH solution container goes to the in port behind KHA. Dosing line from the out port of the KHA goes into the calibration cylinder. Now let's start the calibration process. Navigate to the pump menu on KHA control panel. Keep clicking the enter button until you reach the calibration 10cc menu. Navigate to 10cc using second button and click enter. The cylinder will now fill with water. KHA dispense 13 milliliter of KH solution. Navigate to Yes using the second button and click Enter. Using the first two buttons, set the value to the milliliters dispensed in the cylinder. Since we have 13 milliliter in the cylinder, we are going to set it to 13 milliliter. Click Enter. Now let's go back and run calibration once more to make sure that it's dispensing 10 milliliters. Calibration worked. KHA dispensed exactly 10 milliliters of dosing solution. If the machine didn't dispense the exact 10 milliliters, please perform calibration once again. Now let's figure out how much soda ash solution is needed for increasing the KH of the system by 0.1 dKH. We are using the BulkReefSupply.com calculator for doing this. For example, for increasing a 200-gallon system's alkalinity from 8.0 to 8.1, we need approximately 14 milliliters of the BRS soda ash solution. Also, for increasing a 200-gallon system's alkalinity from 8.0 to 9, we need approximately 143 milliliters of the BRS soda ash solution. Click the Setup button highlighted below. On this screen, you will enter the amount of KH rising solution in the container. Then enter the amount needed to increase by 1 dKH. In the maximum dosing per hour, we enter the amount of solution needed to increase the dKH by 0.1. Enter the threshold at which you want to receive email notification about refilling the KH solution. The paired CRA can be left blank if you don't have a calcium reactor controller. Then click Apply. Go back once again to the Dosing Setup screen to make sure the dosing is set up correctly. The KHA dosing system makes intelligent dosing decisions based on the KH measurement results taken every hour. The maximum dose per hour setting is there to serve as a safety limit. For example, if your target KH is set at 8.5 and the system measures 8.47 in the current hour, it will only dose enough to increase KH by 0.03. This keeps the KH level very close to your target and minimizes fluctuations. Another example, if your target KH is 8.5 and you've set the maximum dose per hour to only allow an increase of 0.08 dKH and the system measures 8.4, then it will only dose enough to bring it up to 8.48, not all the way to 8.5. This is a protective mechanism that also prevents overdosing, especially after a water change when KH may suddenly drop. We usually recommend users set the maximum dose per hour to an amount that can raise the KH by 0.05 to 0.1 dKH per hour. This is a safer and more stable approach. 
Now we can drop the dosing line into the sump and AquaWiz KHA will maintain your alkalinity. Thanks for watching. Please follow us on Instagram at Collectors Corals or follow our YouTube channel at Collectors Corals 3070 for the latest on AquaWiz.